Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. We're in the Shortcuts A Lot 2 software, and in this overview, we're going to be talking about the SVG import uh, feature and how different it is compared to the Shortcuts A Lot 1, which is a great improvement uh, from that other program and I'll show you why. So um, let's go ahead and import one of our SVGs and if you're into paper piecings or multi-cut stuff uh, you're gonna love the new feature for importing SVGs. So let's go ahead and hit that import. Now it, uh, we're gonna, of course I said we're gonna use one of our files and uh, if you happen to download our files you'll notice a new folder down here called the Shortcuts A Lot 2 SVG import. That's the one that you're going to use if you happen to have Shortcuts A Lot 2. So you go ahead and go in that folder, hit that octopus, and um, that's going to show up right here. As you can see from the photo uh, that, I'm, that I'm showing right now, uh, all these pieces will be pieced together and form that photo. So let's go ahead and show you what you need to do first. Uh, what I what I would do first is I'm going to select uh, key proportions. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and then I'm going to use these handles right here for growing and shrinking, uh, and go ahead and size up the octopus to the size that you wish. Now, once you have that, you can go ahead and go to Object Ungroup, and once you once you have that down, you can then uh, you know move the individual colored pieces around. Now something that you'll notice uh, over here is in the layers palette. Um, you got the eyeball which is show hide you know and that's showing and hiding the whole group or you have uh, that folder which has several different uh, you know call them layers uh, you know underneath it and you can show and hide each of those individually which is great because you can now hide what you do not want to cut right now and you can show what you do want to cut. So say I wanted to cut this octopus here and uh, if, if you'd like to color code things you can go ahead and uh, click this box right here change the color and we'll, we'll change it to uh, you know that for example hit OK and it, 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 you can also rename the layer here if you like uh, you know just by clicking in the box and I'm just gonna say oct for octopus and it will show up right there and it is a different color. It, it's just a way for you to organize your your file layers. So once you once you have that uh, and say you didn't want to cut the rest of these like the spots or the eyes you can go ahead and hide them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the eyeball on every single one of them except for the oct or you know the octopus which is what I want to cut. And once you uh, once you place it on the mat where you'd like to cut and insert it in your Cricut all you have to do is click the cut and then you can move on to the next next uh, color and so on. So that is one of the great features that uh, that SCAL2 has put in its new design allowing it to uh, separate SVGs um, you know that we we separated already on on the SVG so that uh, when, once it's imported into SCAL it will be separated and sized perfectly to to fit because in previous uh, versions of SCAL you'd have to have an SVG for each for each color and I'll, I'll show you this right now uh, you know we'll, we'll go back into our our octopus file and as you can see in our SVG folder we have SVG separate SVG files for each uh, for each color grouping, so that's what we had to do uh, before Scal 2 came out. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com, and I'll see you.